This salivary gland from a mouse embryo is growing into a mature organ by forming thousands of tiny buds. This process is, of course, uh, fascinating and important uh, because it produces the exact right architecture uh, to make enough saliva. So without the half to one and a half quarts of saliva that we produce each day, there are tremendous problems. Patients often lose a salivary gland function uh, after radiation therapy for head and neck cancer. And then Sjogren's disease, it affects one to four million Americans, um, many of them women, and you lose salivary gland function. It's a process that we feel is important to understand in detail in order to mimic uh, nature's approaches uh, to efficiently uh, regenerate organs uh, or to create artificial organs to replace the damaged or defective salivary glands. In a new paper, Yamada and colleagues take a first step toward creating an artificial salivary gland. They started by documenting how the glands naturally develop in mice. It is really striking the seemingly complex tissue geometry can arise from relatively simple biophysical interactions. Using two photon microscopy, we were able to follow the cell movements of the entire organ. This is a big technological uh, advantage that uh, allows us to analyze the patterns of cell movements, which help us to think about the ideas of um, how the bud forms. The scientists applied what they'd learned about natural gland development to cells grown in a dish. We observed robust budding in this synthetic system. I think it's exciting uh, that we can now create the first key step, the budding of tissues. Some of the principles uh, here could be used for engineering other organs. This project is just one key step in a long-term program in our institute to find ways to, uh, to restore salivary uh, function to patients.